Uh. Done. I'm throwing hunters while you. Uh. Done. I'm throwing hunters while you. So much have changed since I was in Fortnite last time. Sorry guys for not have been uploading for two days. I was a little bit sick, but I'm feeling fine now. So I'm back with daily uploads. But basically, yes, in today's tutorial, I will show you guys how to make that amazing effect. Basically, the plugins you will need is the Sapphire and Universe plugins. But basically, I think that that's it for the intro, actually. If you enjoy, drop a like, drop a sub, and use code YORP, hashtag add in the Fortnite ad shop. But other than that, let's get right into the tutorial. Wait what so basically the first thing you want to do is to sync up the clip with the music and then time wrap it so that basic stuff if you don't know to time wrap the clip or want the exact time wrapping i use in this tutorial then i will link a making tutorial on that in the description in this tutorial i used the third variant in that tutorial but now we can actually go over to doing the juicy stuff the effect so basically we are gonna start off by doing the build up so how to do the build up is first off just go to the shot of impact that's first frame you see the numbers appear so for me it's right that we see a little bit of the numbers on that frame basically press ctrl b to split the clip right there and from here we need to go 30 frames to the left you can just go with your arrow keys 30 frames to the left but i know a much faster way of doing that so i'll show you guys how to do that right now basically press on the part to the left of the shot of impact of pressing it and press ctrl d then this should pop up go with the frames and in the duration change it to minus 30 then press change and you will see that this clip became 30 frames shorter then you basically take a red cursor right there and press m on your keyboard so you know that's the 30th frame then basically you can just drag out the clip again to the shot of impact now you can press on it again and press ctrl b to split the clip on the mark we put it down before so now we know that this part we cut out is exactly 30 frames but basically what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hold out on this part we cut out and drag it one layer up so basically create a copy but for now we can just disable by pressing D on it but now we're gonna add a little color correction to the background basically how to do that is go to open effects and switch up S underscore edge detect to so see this basically drag it and drop it on that part then go over to effects in the inspector and make the saturation to zero so it fully becomes like black and white and that's basically everything you need to do if you want you can play around with the edge smoothing I would probably drag it up a bit just maybe to 0.006 so it kind of gets a little bit more smooth and, but you can always play around with this later and that in my opinion looks really sick for this effect basically what we can do now is we can actually undisable the copy clip we created before basically just press on it and press d on it to undisable it then basically you need to just mask your chapter basically it's really easy i'll show you guys how to do that right now basically just hover over it and go to the cult tab and when you inside the fair you basically need to go to the circle with four dots and inside of here press on this like pencil thingy then you basically need to go to the first frame by dragging this red cursor all the way to the left and then you need to keyframe the correct one and basically what you can do now is basically just mask the character how to do that is just go around your character and click to create these dots and that's basically the mask so basically just go around your character and basically you don't need to do it super accurate because i will show you guys a way how to make it look accurate even if it isn't accurate when we're done with the mask so basically i will see you guys when i'm done with the first frame so basically like this i'm done with the first frame and basically what you need to do now is you need to go frame by frame with your arrow keys and basically just correct the dots so it looks quite good but basically, you don't need to keyframe the correct one anymore because it will get keyframed automatically when you change something. But basically, I'll see you guys when I'm done with all the frames. So like this, now I'm done with every frame. And basically, now to the thing that I told you before that can make your mask look much better. But that's only if you think that your mask doesn't look good. Basically, how to do that is just, first off, you need to unkeyframe the correct one and drag the cursor all the way to the first frame. And then in the softness, you should see something called inside. Basically, you can play around with this, but I usually don't think that you should go over five. On my mask, I think I will go to like two because I see I did it pretty accurate as you see guys but basically when you do that these red dots should appear and that will basically just add some softness but now for the annoying part of this part 
it's basically what you need to do is you need to double press on the inside to highlight the numbers you choose and press ctrl c on them to copy them and basically now for the really annoying part is you basically need to go every frame where you see these white keyframe dots and basically just change the inside to the same value so i will show you guys really quick how to do that if basically just go frame by frame so here we see another dot and we see that it changed it to zero here again you basically need to press ctrl v to put in your value but basically when you feel happy with your mask then basically you need to go to nodes up here if you don't see him just press on nodes up here right click anyway and press add alpha output and then connect them like this and it should become transparent like this and if you zoom in we see a little bit of the softness you can go back to edit tab and inside of here you are gonna right click on that clip and press new compound clip then press create but basically now we actually need to render it out in a special way and then put it in in the project again it's really easy i'll show you guys how to do it but it's really important that you do it this way because if you don't do it the light rays won't go outside of your character if you have seen my transparent ident tutorial then you probably know what we are going to do but i will show you guys anyways how to do it basically what you need to do first is basically just drag over all the clips below the compound clip with the mask and basically just press D on them to basically disable them so the background is completely black and basically what you're gonna do now is you're gonna go to the first frame of your masked clip so right there and basically up here you should see two arrows press on the left arrow and you'll see this gray thing start where that clip starts and then basically you need to go to the end of that clip so right here and now you're gonna press on the right arrow like this and basically what you're gonna do now is we're gonna actually render it out but i will show you guys the best render settings for this to work basically what you need to do is basically just go to the deliver tab and instead of here you basically need to change name it something and find where you want the file to render out basically but the render settings you need to change it basically change the format to quicktime you might have scrolled down a bit basically here quicktime change the codec to Go person in form, press on that, then change the byte to RGB 16 bit. Then this box down here should appear export alpha. Basically, just tick that box and then basically just press add to render queue and then press render. And it should get rendered really quick since it's just one clip. But basically, when it's rendered, you can just go back to the edit tab. Inside of here, you can just delete the masked clip and in your files, take the video that we just rendered you will not be able to open it before you drag it in because it's quick time format and windows doesn't support that so basically just take it and drag it in on your timeline where your old masked clip was i already have it in my media pool but basically just drag it in like this and it should look pretty much the same and basically what you need to do now is just drag over all the clips below and press D on them to undisable them and nothing should have really changed but now if you find this gray line annoying you can just drag it out again like this and basically before we do anything else we are going to actually add the glow to the shark there how we can do that is just hover over the shark there and go to the fusion tab then in the description you should find the gold draft folder in that gold draft folder download the character glow up uh, preset basically just download that and drag it in like this it, you need the universe and stuff for plugins for this but for the light rays you don't need any plugins at all but basically just connect them like this and you will see really nice glow basically if you go back to the edit tab and now we're actually gonna do the like zoom in and kind of radial blur around so they kind of build up to the color correction and stuff basically how to do that is go to fx you can uh, take away the edge to text for now and basically go to fix drag an adjustment clip and make so the adjust clip ends on the shot of impact make sure that you can't make the adjustment clip shorter because that will mess up the preset we're gonna use so basically just drag the whole adjustment clip and make it so it ends on the shot of impact but then basically you just hover over the adjustment clip and go to the fusion tab and in the same gold raffle that you should find a preset called radio blue plus zooming rp preset basically just done that and just drag it in like this and connect it you need the sapphire points for this just go back to the edit tab right click and press render cache color bit if you feel like it's laggy now it's basically just the impact left to add basically how to do the impact is just again go to fx drag in the adjustment clip and make it start on the shot of impact don't make it shorter then basically just hover over it and go to the fusion tab and in the angle raffle you should find the impact RP preset basically just download that and just drag it in like this it would be quite a lot of like stuff so basically just connect it and now you can make both of the adjust clip shorter like this on if you want but now i'll show you guys real quick how the effect should look 
basically that's kind of the end of the video uh, drop a like drop a sub and yeah see you guys in the next tutorial bye